This morning, vaccinations are picking up as coronavirus cases nationwide are slowing down. Now, more than a quarter of all adults have received at least one dose of vaccine, including a record 2.98 million in one day alone. But while the seven-day case average is continuing downward, the nation's top infectious disease expert is still urging caution. Don't spike the ball on the five-yard line. Wait until you get into the end zone. And we're not in the end zone yet. Still, despite the warning, a growing number of states are relaxing restrictions. From California, where many counties, including L.A., can welcome guests back inside at restaurants, gyms, and movie theaters today. It gives us more chance to actually... Uh start paying our bills. To Minnesota, where bars and restaurants are now operating at 75% capacity, gyms at 50%, salons, no limit. We're winning. We're winning and this thing's coming to an end. Air travel also showing signs of rebounding. On Friday, U.S. airport passenger levels hit their highest since March of 2020, though still down 38% over pre-pandemic levels. The uptick in travel comes as health officials are raising concerns over spring breakers, with images like these of crowded beaches and news that tickets to all four Disney theme parks in Orlando are sold out this week. Meanwhile, the CDC is studying whether to cut social distancing guidelines in half. That, after a new statewide study of Massachusetts schools found three feet of distance is just as safe as six feet with precautions. And overnight, a powerful tribute in a former epicenter of the virus. Images of COVID victims projected onto the Brooklyn Bridge to help mark one year since coronavirus took its deadly toll in New York City. And at the same time, Tom, you know, we're hearing that Europe is facing a more worrying situation, impending lockdowns, new wave of cases there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I've got family in Europe, and this is all they're talking about right now. This third wave of the virus that they think is now washing across much of Europe. In fact, two-thirds of Italy going to lock down again. They're seeing the most cases since early February. Some people in France describing the situation right now as grim again. So... The problem is they haven't had vaccine rolling out nearly as quickly across the European Union as they have had in the States or in, in Britain. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.